Prabhupada had a devotee there who was a Sikh by birth. He joined us and Giriraj Swami and myself and this devotee, uh, his name was uh, Chaitanya Guru at the time, Chaitanya Guru. So he was uh, driving us around and we would be going making members and collecting money to build the Vrindavan temple in Bombay. So after a while this devotee somehow got it in his mind that he should go off on his own and leave and make his own way spiritually in life. And he took up living on Juhu Beach with one bogey yogi with the intention of learning the art of passing a coin from one ear out the other ear. <laughs> so before he had done this, he was already canvassing from our members, collecting on his own. So I had approached Prabhupada, that Srila Prabhupada, this person, we have to write something to our members to warn them about this person. So Prabhupada was a little hesitant to do that. Then finally, you know, but he, he was not ready to give up on this devotee. But when this devotee finally started to live with that bogey yogi, I said, Prabhupada, now it's reached the limit. You know, this person is on the beach, living with a bogus yogi, trying to learn how to pass the coin from one ear out the other. <laughs> so I said that now, you know, there is, it's the end, it's finished. And Prabhupada looked at me and he said, you do not know about Lord Nityananda's mercy. I said, why, Srila Prabhupada? He said, because there is no end to Lord Nityananda's forgiveness. And later on, sure enough, that devotee came back. And again, Prabhupada tried to help him. He gave this person sannyas even. And the person eventually left. That's an, you know, but I met him maybe a year ago. And he's still on some spiritual path of some type. But Prabhupada was so clear, he looked at me, and he said, there's no limit to Lord Nityananda's mercy and compassion. So Srila Prabhupada is the manifest representative of Lord Nityananda Prabhu. And uh, his forgiveness is like that. So I think that in terms of our, both our dealing with our own shortcomings and in terms of dealing with each other, we have to always remember that Prabhupada never rejected a devotee. There's very, very, very few instances in the history where Prabhupada, you know, did so. It was very, 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 very rare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare 